Hey Craig. Hey sweetie. What's up? What's up Jerry? Oh, not much. What's going on with you? Just working on some of my scripts. You want me to read one of them? Nah, I think uh, we'll look at them after we're done. I think one of them could be really good if we produce it right. Did you do your English homework? No. Jerry, you can't keep slacking off on your homework. I know. You barely passed with a C last semester. I know. Directors don't get C's. I know! Craig, did you happen to, um... Yes, I have a copy of my homework, and I have one for you. You know what I don't have? Twenty dollars. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. You're a life safe. Guess it's better than nothing. So, how's Saturday night looking for you, Lindsay? Saturday? I should be free. Movie night? <laughs> you know me so well. Do you want to go out and see anything in particular, or you just want to come over to my place? Is there anything new you want to see? Well, there is that new Chaz Bazog film. Uh, the one about the guy getting followed by the demon? Requiem for a demon. Requiem for a demon? Sounds stupid. Don't judge a film by its title, honey. <laughs> Could I come too? I haven't had a date in three months, and third wheeling with you two would make my life. Three months and I'd love hey to there, take guys. it off. Mr. Mills, how are you? I'm good, Jerry. Listen, got something for you. <laughs> Is this for real? Oh, absolutely. What is it? A film festival? Hosted by Chaz Bazog himself. Grand prizes, tuition money to the University of Film of California. And an internship under Chaz Bazog. Deadline's in a few months. He's looking for shining stars who can make short films, and after what you made at last year's festival, I think you're exactly the type he's looking for. I honestly do. <laughs> oh my god. This is... this is... Incredible. Awesome. You're a big chance. All of the above! We gotta get something together for this quick. Well, Jerry, if you want, you can just submit last year's project. I told you then, I'll tell you now, that film was great. It's got a real solid chance of actually winning. All right, we have to get this all together now. Yeah, we only have a couple of months, so we need to do this now. Do we have a cast? Yes, Crew? yes, Storyboard? yes. It's all covered, right here. You can't be serious, I mean... I am serious. Drones? I mean... Yes. I'm ordering it tonight. They'll be here in a couple of weeks. Hey, uh, I, I was thinking maybe we could use one of my scripts this year. I've been working a lot on them, and uh, I... Craig, I need to win this myself, okay? Oh, okay, you're, you're probably right. You, you write better scripts anyway. That's the spirit, Craig. I've got a really great feeling about this. Then why do I have such a bad feeling about it?
How's it coming, Craig? As well as this crap's gonna go. You know, a little of optimism would be nice. You know what would be nice? Some planning three months ago when we started this. It was planned. Oh really? You planned for everything to go wrong? What is this, some fancy new technique you came up with? Because if it is, Chance Bazaar should be your intern, Jerry. More. Calm down, guys. We need to work. We're not gonna make the deadline and the late fee is crazy. She's right. Let's get back to working. You know what? No. I for one am done. You two can slave away all you want, but I'm through. Well, I guess we should finish it then. <laughs> there is no we, and there's no finish yet, Lindsay. What? Listen, Linz. There's no us, there's no we, and there's no finishing. This whole project has been an absolute wreck. I had a chance, and I blew it. Plain and simple, that's all there is to it. Jerry, you've practically ignored me this whole entire time. You've barely even treated me like your girlfriend, and now you're just going to cut me out? The only reason why I'm still trying to finish this trash up is because I'm not a quitter. Even if it means ruining my career before you even start, I'm not giving up on it. But I just, I, I can't have you around for this. I just can't. I can't have you watching over as I become the failure that I was destined to be. Lindsay, please, just let me deal with this in peace. Pretty bad out there, huh? I wouldn't know. I came in right after you. <laughs> wow. Impressed? The great Jerry Carstinger tearing out his heart and flushing it down a toilet, just like his film career. Come on. I want to show you something.
Really? Yeah. Just one thing about you, though. You seem to be somewhat disconnected. Especially the end. Well, that was actually on purpose. For real? Do you have a name for that? Yes. You see, it's a new technique I came up with for storytelling. I actually use continuity errors in the plot to amplify the story. And do you have a name for this? I do, actually. What would that be? Discontinuity.